I am rolling, and today okay. we have uh, Nabil El Duhabi. Is that El Wahabi? El El Wahabi. Perfect. Perfect. You got it right. Yes. Um, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. I'm sat in my hotel room in uh, Saudi Arabia, um, and I'm just uh, I'm doing a movie at the moment. So uh, I've got a couple of. Uh, got a couple of months here so okay. i'm all right i'm working and i'm happy and i'm in the sun oh yeah i like that it's getting it's getting kind of chilly over here getting kind of cold and the but uh how is how's the weather over there hot hot <laughs> uh, yeah just hot or as you guys would say hot <laughs> i love it it's i love hot. it it's, it's hot. hot man it's hot hot um what i i do want to just jump right into it if you're if you're yeah, with that uh so it, how, do you do a lot of voice acting work or is it just you know the funny thing is yes yes of recent things have started to recently in the last couple of years i've done more previously i hadn't it's quite a competitive market to get into it's quite a, you know it's just a very competitive field and I just so happened at the time I didn't have a voiceover agent. Um, and then I do. And she she's amazing. Her name is Sue Terry. And, um, and they started putting me up for voices. And I think with regards to Valorant in particular, um, and another game called uh, Elden Ring, which is going to be coming out quite soon. Um, those are two games that I, I booked at the same time. And the success of Valorant, which has kind of really taken me by surprise, and even the creators was, were were um, really encouraged by the the popularity of Cipher. They were oh. quite, you know, you know, and they were really, they they said they, they weren't expecting him to be as popular as he was. Mm -hmm. um, so so it it just so happened that it was a character I really felt comfortable doing, and 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 actually demanded like anything decent demanded some acting, you know, you yeah. had to kind of, you know, cause that's one of the things that I kept getting comments about was that, you know, you really believe what I'm saying and, yeah. you know, you could really feel those different beats. So, so no, in the grand scheme of things, no, I've only been doing voiceovers for about two or three years properly. And those voiceovers now, those video games that I've just mentioned are, are the biggest, you know, the most prominent things I've done. But as an actor, I mean, I've worked as an actor since I was in my, you know 20 years mm -hmm. how how was that like getting into the character of cypher because um I, you know it it is there's like many different ways of like either delivering lines for a voiceover but then when you get these characters with backstories like you yeah, you know yeah. you said that it, it takes acting and I'm a yeah. I'm a big advocate. Like you're not just delivering lines with these. Like I also no. I also believe that. So how was that getting into character, and what did you think well, about? I I the process, which isn't too dissimilar from any creative process, is I was working with the writer and with the director. Mm -hmm. So they were all in the studio. So they would give me a backstory. They would say, "Look, this is what's happening with Cipher right now. This is what Cipher's about. This is how he moves in the world. Mm -hmm. This is his mo." And, and it's like anything. It's like, you know, there are, we all, in a certain way, end up becoming, I don't know, um, have kind of behavioral patterns and traits. You know, there are people who are gregarious and big, and, and there are people who are slightly more removed. And so it's just about finding a, finding a truth to that character and then being consistent throughout the game with that so that you know that cipher for sure. Yeah. So, you know, somebody who, you know, you know he, he, he has a you know, a cheeky disposition, a mischievous, mischievous disposition. Mm -hmm. So the, there's that playfulness that he has mm -hmm. that I was able to bring to, to the character. So, no, it was great, but I think the key to it was you're not, you're not just doing it alone. You're doing it with the writer and with the director. David Lyrie, who, excuse me, who, who was directing it? David Lyrie. Uh, forgive me, David, if I've pronounced your name incorrectly and then there was Zach who's the writer who's the lead writer on it uh, they have different writers now but that, that those are the guys that I worked with fundamentally mm -hmm. which uh, I always give a lot of props to uh, not only the the you know the voice actor but I mean the Riot 
writers with everything that they've done oh, unbelievable it's incredible unbelievable. you know i mean look, I, I i was i was fortunate enough to be invited to riot games to do a tour i was in los angeles at the time they said look we really we want you to come and meet your parents so i came along and i met and i met the the draw you know the illustrators and mm -hmm. the design oh it was totally humbling because you just think you think you're doing the work you, you're just like you're like the kind of you're the, you're the sprinkle of dust that hopefully just the sprinkle of gold dust on the top but actually the real substance the real work has already been done mm -hmm. and it would be in in a pro incorrect and a lie to pretend otherwise i mean you know you're you're the you're the very sharp you're the you're the visible pencil tip end mm -hmm. do you know what i mean but the, yeah. the, the, it goes all the way to the top yeah. and they were just great and very humbling great situation it was just one of those happy it was just a happy meeting you know mm -hmm. yeah i i always like just that whole thing with how just good they are and the the directors and the direction that they went in it's it's not just the game like there's so much no. backstory and stuff like that what what did no, they tell you about cypher what could they tell you at the beginning well, at the beginning, they said they explained to me that he was a gadget guy, that he was, um, that you know, in terms of the way that he was operating, was they gave me the characteristics, his kind mm -hmm. of characteristics. They told me some relationship stuff. They told me about my wife and my my family and what that was about and who I was working for, or apparently working for. So there was this, you know, there was all of these different tensions that they were explaining to me and then once once we did that then we just went through the lines and made sure that each of those lines but when you're doing the voiceover lines you have the luxury of having the director and the writer there to make sure that during that gameplay whatever's going on is the correct you know the correct kind of color for that specific yeah. beat so so it, it that, as i said in in, in a in a way, because they are so thorough and so diligent about what they do, when you come, it's it's clear. Like you know, it's it's like they've already created a really clear template and map. And then, then what they're asking you to do is just walk through that door, do that, do this, do that, and just making sure that in a sense you're crossing your T's and dotting your I's. You're the final bit in it. And that, that, I'm not do, I'm not trying to in any way diminish my thing, because yeah. actually what they did do is you know. All the stuff in Arabic, you know, it comes from me. Mm -hmm. Like I suggested that we said, "Oh, look, why don't we just make him?" You know, you've you've said he's Moroccan. Well, why don't we use that? I'll throw in some, you know, and Sitini and you know some Arabic words. And again, the f phenomenal feedback. People love it. You know, I've ha I've been having messages from all over the Arab world who understand that and say, "Oh man, it's great." You say, you know, like when I say "Bislema, Bislema Alik." Which is but see you later. <laughs> you know, it's like it's it's a cipher's version of hasta la vista, baby. Mm. You know, it's, it's it's that thing. So there's a real kind of um uh, uh, what's the word? a mutual respect and a mutual kind of collaborative mm -hmm. energy. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I I love that about the game too, and it's something that I've heard people talk about, but I don't think it's enough about there's so many you know different corners of the world being represented uh yeah big all, big all in this game and like i i bet it feels you know it's cool that like you get to do that and i like i've talked to other people who represent different cultures you know you got yeah. like australian or you know like yeah. south america just things like that uh how does that feel to you just to be able to represent well, it's really that's a great question. I mean, I, I find it it's a privilege. Yeah, it's a privilege. You know, it's a privilege to to have a different color color on the palette. You know, mm -hmm. it's like you've got a paint, you've got this lens, you've got this beautiful canvas, and everything's been painted black and white for many years or whatever, just like these specific colors. And then you go, hmm, let's put a bit of yellow on there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you're part of that kind of thing. So, you know, this isn't about tribalism. This is about um, sharing different, you know, sharing different flavors. Yeah. And I like that a lot. You know, we're, we're, it's a, it's a, you know, it's one world, one planet, one, one species. Yeah. You know, we're not, you know, 
but you know even within that there there are you know different ways of speaking and different energies and different and and i think it's lovely to 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 acknowledge people and to acknowledge different cultures and to acknowledge different energies so for me personally it's it's a win-win yes absolutely i i find myself learning about the different cultures through the game you know like, that's incredible yeah that's and, incredible and i think about it because i think about how important that is not only for like me but also yeah. people coming up like younger generations to yeah. be exposed yeah. to everything you know to, to totally. have an open mind about it so listen there's, there's something which is a slight side it's a slight, it's slight tangent but i think it's relevant i don't know do you watch any soccer at all um not like a lot but I frequently you, obviously you know what it is, yes, right? Yes. English. Right. So there's a, there's a team in the UK called Liverpool. Yes. Liverpool are yeah. So Liverpool are pretty. You know they're very one of the oldest teams in the country. But they have a player on there called Mo Salah. Mm -hmm. Now Mo Salah mm -hmm. is actually Egyptian. He's a Muslim, and he's Egyptian. And I tell you what, because he's such a profound goal scorer and part of the team, there are all these wonderful videos going around of like diehard like Liverpudlian fans all singing his praises and saying you know you know I want to be a Muslim too based on the fact that they have this interaction with Mo Salah the point that I'm trying to make is there's a way to share one's culture in a way which is celebratory yeah. amongst one another and that's one of them and it's just you know you've got these kind of real kind of English you know skinhead type guys all going Mo Salah, you know, and it's just it's a great it's a great way for people to meet, you know. Yeah. So and you know, and it's like what you said, if you learn about other people through games, through it's points of contact. Mm -hmm. And it's and crucially speaking, it's emotional points of contact. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's really cool. Yeah. I like oh, there's one of the voice actors who does uh the character Astra and she's from Ghana yeah. and yeah. and I've just like I met her and she's like such a just a beautiful person and right. I, and I've right. been I was just watching stuff just to learn about her culture and be able to you know speak to her and she she became one of my good friends and and I I just love that's that wonderful yes I, wonderful I love but, that about but that's also but that's also there's another thing to 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 your credit and I don't say this lightly, it's wonderful to be curious. Yeah. And clearly you are curious. I think curiosity is the beginning of any friendship or any, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like when you're curious, you're like, oh, what's that about? So you go and do it. And it's, and, it's and it's a great way of connecting, man. So more power to you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, I do, I do want to get some, some voice lines in here. Okay. Of course. <laughs> Um, I do, I do want to, I, uh, before we do that, I, I want to know how you, how you interpret, uh, Cypher. Like, what, what do you feel like something that they didn't tell you directly about him, but mm. like, um, well, no, I mean, again, it was a process of, of mutual exploration mm -hmm. and back and forth thing. But the thing that I really liked about him was that there was this kind of, deeper pain you know about not losing his wife you know all of that stuff mm -hmm. and all that kind of that familial stuff which is really human mm -hmm. and there was a real pain to him that i liked he was it wasn't it was this world it was heart stuff yeah that he kept you know that he and i and i found that very appealing yeah i i definitely see that because I, I got a list and i i i was looking through them and I didn't realize Ooh. some of them because I don't hear you hear some frequently, but you don't hear all of them. I don't feel like. Yes. Yeah. There's a whole listen. There's a whole side to Cypher that isn't as kind of front and center as, you know, as 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 could be in a sense. But I think he ha there's a real three dimensions to him. Do you know yeah. what I mean? There's a, yeah. he's, you know, it's, it, there's, a, there's there's what's going on and then there's his backstory. And how he contends with that, and I find that as an actor just really appealing. Yeah, and I also like it because it doesn't have to be that way. Because it is, no. it is a video game, and it doesn't no. ha have to do that, but it does. And so it's well, I think 
Go I ahead. think that's exactly right. No, I think that's exactly right. And I think they've taken, and I think both uh, Zach and David, these are the guys at the beginning. I don't think they're with Valorant anymore. Uh, and I hope the, the the rest of the team pick up, you know, we continue to do this. But there was something, they were willing to go that extra mile and go a bit deeper. And I yeah. think that, I think it really resonates. For me, that resonates. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. Um, all right, I do, There, there's one, I don't know if you get like, do you do you get like comments or anything like about Cipher on like your social media at all? Yeah, I get them all the time. I mean, you what know, is it? You know, you know, the stuff that they always g -g 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 give me a corpse. <laughs> you know, they love that. Apparently, there's like a whole mix of it. Give me a corpse, and there's um, there's that. There's about you know, where's my camera? You know, all the kind of all that, you know, all this stuff. Well, it's was, incredible. I was gonna say because I don't know if you know the the backstory on the like the g -g 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 give me a corpse that no, one it's me, yeah uh when you go to like throw your hat down or whatever on it yeah sometimes yeah. You're, you're not close enough so like the voice line starts but then and like, it doesn't finish it doesn't finish so you just keep tapping the key and then like g -g 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 yeah, yeah you're trying to throw your that's hat. incredible yeah so that's that's where that comes from i the... had no idea yeah so there you go <laughs> Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a quarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Okay. Okay. Oh, I love. I love it. Can Can I get it? Just a regular. Just give me a corpse. Give me a corpse. <laughs> give me a corpse. I... Cyber. Give me a corpse. <laughs> give me a corpse. I like that. Yeah. I forget how much I enjoy doing his voice. <laughs> yeah, he's something. Okay. What else? Um, I, I, I do want to, oh, they will scurry and then they will die. Oh, uh, yes. I like that. They will scurry and they will die. They will scurry and they will die. The other thing that they allowed me to do is they allowed me to play with these things. Mm -hmm. Cause these are, so this is what you're listening to. You're listening to me finding the truth in each line. So mm. they will scurry and then they will die. They will scurry and then they will die. So you, this is what we're playing with. So in the sense, what we what we end up doing is it's not it's a line which is informed by emotion, you know. Yeah, I I love the the up for interpret like whatever you feel and then you get to play with it. Like they're not yeah. they're not telling you you got to have this infliction on no, like no, the no, scary. No, no. You know, I love that. No, no, no. No, 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 exactly. Because look, what they do is they trust me to do what I do best, which is find truth in this line. Yeah. And and, and make that happen. Because you know, so the, so there are twenty different ways to make to make to make that point. Mm -hmm. There's a playful way, there's a more direct way, there's a sinister way, there's uh they will scut in and they will die. You know, there's many, many ways of, of doing it. And, that, and I think that what people like to do is respond to that. And I do wanna say you did a fantastic job and i i love your character and i I, I think it is very very good and thank I, you you did a, a amazing job thank you so much i appreciate that yes no problem um I, another good one is one of my cameras is broken oh wait yeah okay. yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. What, to go so what was that line is one of my cameras is broken and then what it's oh wait Okay, it's fine. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. That was our. I, I remember this. One of my cameras is broken. Ah, oh, ah. Oh, wait, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, what we're doing is we're turning we're turning corners. It's almost like I've got it in my hand. Like ah, one of, one of my cameras is broken. <laughs> ah, wait. Ah, it's fine. <laughs> And that's a very, that's a very human thing. Like, that's like, ah, I've lost my wallet. <laughs> ah, ah, oh no, it's fine. I have it. it's, we all, we all understand that feeling, right? It's just in this, it's dramatic. <laughs> oh, I, I know people are going to love Cypher losing his wallet. <laughs> I lost my wallet. <laughs> ah, ah, wait. <clears throat> ah, it's fine. Uh, um. I, I want to make sure that I get the ones that I want in here, you know? Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Uh, 
Oh, will they try the same old tricks? Will they try the same old tricks? I can't remember that line. Tell me the rest of it. Is that? That's it. That's it. will they try the same wow. old tricks? They try the same old tricks. Wow, I can't even remember saying that line. That's incredible. That's what I mean. O over the course of the, of you know eighteen months, we did hundreds of lines, hundreds. Yeah. When they try the same old tricks, there's 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 a real. The other thing is about Cipher is he thinks he's a thinker. He plays chess. Mm -hmm. In fact, he plays chess. He's <laughs> just done something where he's playing chess. So he thinks. He thinks about things. Mm. Yeah. Uh, this one, this one's a good one. Now remember, wipe your prints, wipe the prints from your gun. It's just cr good crime scene etiquette. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Now remember, well, that's right. Now remember, wipe your prints from your from the gun. It's just good. It's just good. What's, it, what's the what's the line? It's just good. Now, now remember, wipe the prints from your guns. Yes. It's just cr yes. good crime scene etiquette. That's right. Good crime scene et etiquette. That's right. Good crime scene etiquette. I can't even remember saying that line. <laughs> now remember, wipe your prints from the gun. It's just good. Uh, <laughs> was it crime crime scene etiquette? That's yes. right. It's such a great line. I forgot I even did that. You're you're reminding me of lines that I haven't, you know, haven't done for yeah. over two years. Well, thank you. Okay, <laughs> give me another one. Give me a short one. Ah. Uh... Which ones? Now, uh, the other, the other, the other thing that I get a lot is voice voice notes. People like to, to uh, re request voice notes. Oh yes, and I have. So I have a, I have. You can, you know, first it's a small fee. It's not, it's not, it's not exorbitant, but there is a small charge. But on my Instagram, and my Twitter, but on my Instagram, there's a there's a link that will take you to a page, and you can request a voice note. And I've been getting lots of those. So mm -hmm. you know. Happy birthday from Cypher, you know, so, <laughs> I can see you clearly, you know, all these kind of things and people seem to be really digging it. Yeah. Um, what, what about, uh, ah, my eyes are down. Ah, my eyes are down. Um, Lo I love that line. Uh, where is everyone hiding? Uh, now, where is everyone hiding? And then, where is everyone hiding? I love that line. I remember that line because again, I love that line because it's it's somebody. It's it's a it's a line in which is active. He's about to do something. He's yeah. looking. I love. It. Yeah. Where is everybody? Where is everyone hiding? <laughs> I can see you. That's great. 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 Uh, and then we'll we'll do one last one. I know exactly yeah. where you are. Well, you know, I know exactly where you are. I know exactly where you are. <laughs> there you go, my brother. I appreciate it. Um, Listen, it's it, it's a pleasure. We're gonna have to wrap up pretty soon, I'm yeah. afraid. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I was I'm just about to do that. On. Um, yeah. I I appreciate you coming on. Uh, I hope we get Listen, to. You know, further the relationship and be able to, you know, do maybe do some things in the future. I don't know, but oh, you know, you 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 know, one thing that I've not done, which I'm open to, is um, people keep saying that have you played your character in Twitch? You know, have you done it like that? So that's something that'd be quite fun to do. But I'm open to 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 be you know to being involved. I appreciate your, as I said, your interest, your support. I don't take that lightly. And, uh, you know, I wish you well, you know, you, you've, uh, you've made a friend, so you know where I am when you need me. All right. I, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys for listening and watching. Um, yeah, this has been the Cypher VA and, and, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the podcast. I'll see you guys later. Yeah. And, and people can follow me on Instagram. Yes. All, at all, Nabil. Yes. Everything, all of... everything will be linked in the description. They got you. Yes. All right, brother. All right. You take care. Get to bed, man.